Office World, a leading name in ink and toner cartridge for a variety of printer, sent out their two-pack TN760 high-yield toner cartridge for my brother printer to provide my honest opinion. Because you're watching which you benefit your first time here, thank you so much for clicking. Here is where I review smartwatches, smartphones, headphones, etc. So if you're into tech, you must consider subscribing. Now, if you are a regular viewer to my videos, you might think this is a bit off topic. But few months ago I did a video on Brother Printer's toner cartridge and that video has received a lot of subscribes and views. So this video is a continuation to that video. And don't worry, the sponsor of this video not just provides toner and ink for Brother but a variety of other printers too. So check out the links in the video description. With that said, let's talk about price. If you were to get an original TN760 toner, it will cost you at least 90 Canadian dollar. So when you go on Amazon or any retailer, you'll find cheaper option. But I'll show you why you should get this Office World toner over others. Now I have used toners from a variety of brands. But moving forward, this Office World will be my go-to toner until I find a better option. This 2-pack high-yield TN760 compatible toner replacement cartridge is listed for only 45 Canadian dollar. Keep in mind the price may vary at seller's discretion. For this video, I have my brother HLL2390DW printer, but it would work for the following listed printers. So inside the box, there are two replacement toner cartridge nicely padded to protect them during shipment. Now let's take one out and show you the installation process. The first step is to check the toner's life. For which you have to go under the menu or settings of your printer. Select machine options. Now find parts life. Select toner to reveal the amount of ink left. Now you are able to check the part life of the toner because of a microchip on the toner. Now most of those cheap third party replacement toner cartridge providers will sell you a toner without this chip. So you won't be able to check the amount of ink left in the toner. But that is not the case with this Office World toner cartridge. Both their toners come with a microchip pre-installed. Now in case if you have a toner lying around without a chip, you can use the chip from this Office World toner but you have to be careful with detaching the chip as they are usually glued in place and then slide it into the other toner. It may or may not work. By the way, without the chip, the toner still works but you won't be able to see how much ink is left. So you just have to rely by the print quality. So I would highly insist to get this Office World toner. Now to access the drum, there will be pull tabs on the side of the paper tray. Just pull it to open the printer. The first thing you will see is the drum. For my printer, the drum is DR730. By the way, Office World also sells drum for a variety of printer. Check out their store linked in the video description. In my case, there is a green hook which I need to push down to detach the drum from the printer. This process should be relatively similar in your printer as well. Now the toner usually sits on the drum and to detach it, again pull this green hook further down and the toner should pop out. Carefully pull it out. You will find the chip located at the bottom side of the toner. Now you don't want to touch this ink roller as it's coated with a black ink powder. Usually the refilling of this toner is done from the left hand side by removing this seal plug. A caution here is to not damage it as if you did the ink powder will just spill out. Removing this plug gives you access to the powder ink storage compartment. The ink from this compartment then goes to the ink roller which then gets lasered onto the paper. Now in case if you get an error message or replace toner message once the toner cartridge is almost empty, you can do a reset to get that extra few pages printed as resetting gives the appearance of a new cartridge to the printer. 
So the resetting can be done from the side opposite to the refilling seal. You will find such a gear. Remove these two screws holding the gear to the toner. This will give you access to the gear itself. Just turn the gear the other way around from what it was. Go ahead and put the screws back in place. That is it. The error message should be gone for you to get those extra few prints from an almost dead toner. Now to slide the new replacement toner inside the drum, just go ahead in the same way you took it out. To avoid any confusion, before inserting just have a look at the drum. There should be a hole for the microchip we talked about earlier in this video. So just go ahead and match accordingly and then the toner should just snap into the drum with a click. After that, just slide the drum tray inside the printer making sure that the green hook is pointed up and it should easily slide in place and click and that is about it. Now let's check the part life of this new toner by going in the menu, machine info, part life, toner. Now let's go ahead and do a test print for which you just have to go again in the menu, select printer and you should see the option for a test print. Let's go ahead and do a test print. You can see the print quality is pretty good, nice and bright. So here are my final thoughts. I will certainly recommend this Office World Replacement TN760 or TN730 high yield toner cartridge over any other brand. As they are economical and affordable, they come with a microchip so you don't have to worry about checking the ink level of the toner. You can just check the ink level directly from the printer as shown earlier. These Office World toner cartridge have access to the resetting gear unlike other cheap toners which don't have access to that. Finally there is an access for refilling seal plug in order for someone who knows how to properly refill the toner but I would rather insist on buying a new 2 pack for just $45. You can easily print more than 7000 pages. So there you go. I hope you find this video helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then check these videos out as you may find them enticing.